So you are thinking about moving to the greater Phoenix area and you think you can't afford it. Well, let me tell you in this video, we are going to share with you an area that not only is affordable, it's close to a ton of things, most important employment, and these are newer homes, maybe even new construction. Look, I know it's challenging if you don't live here in the Phoenix area to kind of figure out what is where and what is affordable and safe, etc. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share a spot with you that you probably have not seen anywhere else on YouTube. So don't go anywhere because this is going to blow your mind. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel, you're going to want to tap that little subscribe button and click that little bell so that you are notified each and every time we release a new video. We are getting dozens of calls every single day and we love it. Look, if you're thinking about moving to the Phoenix area and you have a ton of questions like where do we eat, sleep, drink, have fun, how about hike, how about vacation, how close to the airport, what's commuting like, I'm telling you, everybody Everybody has their own questions and we want to answer them. So you know what you need to do is pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, or weekends, we get your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, let's get at it right now. All right, guys, let's first identify the location, the proximity of where I'm talking about. None other than Levine, Arizona. Now, some of you might get a little tripped up and see a community called Levine Village. Mm -mm. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about the city of Levine that not many people know exists. Let's take a look and see where exactly it's located. I cannot tell you about the possibilities, the opportunities of this particular part of the greater Phoenix area. Now, here's the thing though. You have to stay within the city of Levine, not the city of Phoenix, in South Mountain. I know it seems so small when you look at it a map. They're right next door to each other. I'm telling you, it's a pretty significant difference. So I'm really talking about the city of Levine. Let me tell you, when I started selling real estate about almost 20 years ago, when I would drive out to Levine, all you saw was horse property. It was the most amazing untouched real estate in the greater Phoenix area, nestled up on the north side of South Mountain. And it just was these vast fields. There was farming and there was ranches and there was no new housing. Well, let me tell you, today we are starting to see that change, which I know it's sad that we're letting that farmland grow, go, but you know what? A lot of people have questions about um, water and people don't realize that human beings, so housing takes up less water than farms do. So the farming that we had here was more of hay and cotton. In fact, you can still see cotton fields out in Levine, but those will slowly and slowly be disappearing as more homes start to be built. The views here are amazing. There's great freeway access. One of the most beautiful freeways that is only a couple of years old, the 202 gives you access to everything in the Southeast Valley within minutes. So if you were looking perhaps at Chandler, Gilbert, um, Tempe even, and Mesa, that it was just too pricey for you because the Southeast Valley is a much higher cost per square foot, Levine might be a great area for you. The 202, like I said, it is so peaceful to drive on this part of the freeway. I don't even listen to music when I'm driving through this. You have the Estrella Mountains on one side of you, you have South Mountain on the other side of you, and beautiful Indian reservation that will never be developed. I'm telling you, it's absolutely gorgeous. And these new homes are not being obstructive in any ways. They're not, they're not building on the mountains. They are not taking up parks, etc. So they're only beautifying this particular part of Phoenix. This part of Phoenix also has massive employment that is coming to the area. They either are already there just recently or they are building massive manufacturing distribution centers and this is a very strong employment corridor. Now I have to say the schools aren't stupendous, but one of the great things about Arizona is they have this open voucher program for parents that they can dictate where that tax money goes. So you can choose to use the public school system 
or you can also go private, charter, Montessori, micro schools. There are some pretty cool schools in the greater Phoenix area that are not associated with the public school districts. So you don't see those ratings online. I'm telling you though, when you start to do your research on the schools, the options out there for the children are incredible. And for employment, like I said, manufacturing, distribution, um, all these light, light ag and light manufacturing jobs are all within, I don't wanna say walking distance, but almost bicycle distance, not kidding, in this area. But if you are employed in one of the higher tech finance areas, whether you are in Tempe, Chandler, or downtown Phoenix, this is a great local spot. I'm telling you, close to the airport, 15, 20 minutes, no, more like 10, 15 minutes, like it's unbelievable. And although the amenities, as far as like shopping and malls, aren't super close, everything you need is within a 10 minute drive. Now, I know that some people do not like Walmart. And I have to say, some Walmarts might be a little scary, but I also have to tell you, I'm a big fan of Walmart and these super centers, especially the newer ones in the greater Phoenix area, are pretty spectacular. So with the Walmart centers, Costco locations, um, you're not too far from Target, um, Sprouts, there's a huge brand new Sprouts. It is amazing. If you like outdoor activities, you're gonna love this location as well. In fact, I just took my family, believe it or not, horseback riding. This particular mountain is City of Phoenix's largest park and it is the largest city owned operated park in the nation. It is stunning. The sunsets are incredible. Um, hiking trails, biking trails. Um, there is no camping on this particular mountain, but if you wanna go camping, it's just a hop and a skip down the road. I'm telling you, you can see the Estrella Mountains too from here. And I'm talking stunning when you hit those trails. I'm Anything you can ever imagine. If you have a dog like I do, and I wanna take my pup on my trails, these are great trails. Some people ask about the bugs and critters that we have in the Phoenix area. I'm gonna say, yeah, there's a lot of critters, but because this was mostly farming, um, they've already been disrupted, meaning we're not gonna necessarily see a bunch of scorpions or rattlesnakes in this area, but there are going to be littler problems like crickets and spiders and other little bugs. But you know what? Those are super easy to treat. Um, you have a bug guy, that's what I just call them, but it's, um, you know, pest treatment and they come every other month they cost about $65, depending on the company that you go with. And you know what? I haven't seen a cricket in my house since I moved in, and that was a long time ago. So there are preventative steps that you can take. And if you're worried about scorpions and rattlesnakes, then I just recommend that you don't get too close to the mountain and a little bit further away. And again, you can also treat your home for both that scorpions and rattlesnakes. You can seal your home so that none of them critters come into your house. And here's the best little secret. Have yourself an outside cat as a pet and they will keep uh, the scorpions away. Also, if you are thinking about, again, just entertainment, um, it's 10, 15 minutes away. Um, downtown Chandler is about a 15 minute drive. I said downtown Phoenix is gonna be about a 15 minute drive. Downtown Tempe, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. There's more trails, more parks. This is truly Central Phoenix, but no, Central Phoenix, but don't get hung up on the word Phoenix. That's, I, I wanna make sure that we're really careful about that because builders do this. They highlight the positive things and they don't tell you about the neighborhoods you have to drive through to get to their new beautiful communities, beautiful homes, beautiful views, but it's in a different part of Phoenix. It's, it's like right next door, but don't get fooled. Look, the only way we're gonna be able to walk you through this area is you have to give us a call. I'm telling you, whether you are in the $300,000 price point, $400,000 price point, you can get into resale homes in this area. Sellers in 2023 are super helpful. They're making sure homes are clean. They're making sure that the repairs are done. And you know what? They're helping the buyers buy down their rate or even pay for their closing costs. 
There has never been a better opportunity to get into a home, and especially if you really kind of like those areas that have a little bit more space. Like you don't feel like it's just housing on top of you left and right. I love stopping off at the road, I'm not kidding you, at the cotton fields in Levine, and I pick myself some fresh cotton balls every year, and I just kind of have them on my table as a centerpiece. It's really cool to live so close to the city and still be in the country. If you're looking for that home, please reach out to us. Pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, or weekends, I promise I got you when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. I can't wait to hear from you. I wanna answer all your questions, so call now. All right, guys, see you soon. Take care, be safe, and until next time, bye.